in the name of Allah welcome guys back to another video from my channel so in this uh, video uh, we're going to uh, calculate the LST or land surface temperature uh, for land satellite images so there is various methods uh, in approach to calculate the uh, land surface temperature for example this is one of the simplest way that can be calculated in the environment of the NV you can correct the image radiometrically and yet after that you can apply a thermal atmosphere correction then you can choose this option from NV tools Emissivity normalization or emissivity reference channel to calculate uh, LST or land surface temperature uh, very easily. And then you can convert this uh, Kelvin temperature to, uh, into the Celsius just by applying bond mat. So here is the second way and uh, a little bit complex but for the first time maybe you want to calculate the land surface temperature in your study area is not so complicated uh, it would be uh, suitable for you now let's try so i'm going to open a landsat image here from its multispectral and now in this image uh, I'm going to load the thermal bonds so here we have two thermal bonds and the range of about 11 micrometer and 12 micrometer of the wavelength so now I load this as you see this uh, I'm going to set uh, a small area for my uh, area of interest uh, to subset the area. Uh, I'm going to subset or apply an ROI via the ROI tools. Just this area is okay for me. Uh, because of the speed of the process. Now, this area is selected as a ROI here, and I'm going to rename this area study area, for example. Now, so now I'm going to apply a radiometry. Collaboration. Uh, when I apply the radiometric collaboration, and I select the thermal bonds of this this data in the special subset. I'm going to subset my image through my ROI, and I select this. Now this is applied here. Okay. In here, I'm going to uh, all the settings. Okay, flow radians BSQ, and I save this this file thermal radiometry 2021 uh, the date of acquired image, and now this is radiometrically corrected. So let's check the values from quick statistics. So now these are the range of the values. In bond 10, you have it, uh, the minimum value is it fine to approximately seven, and the maximum value is 12.28, and also in bond 11, just a little bit different. So, I'm going to apply uh, atmospheric correction 
uh, when you want to apply a, uh, atmospheric correction, you, you are, the only choice will be a thermal atmospheric correction because quark or flash is not a, applicable uh, on the thermal bonds. So I apply this. Now I select the bodymetric thermal. Okay. So in here, we will have two, um, two outputs, thermal offset and thermal atmospheric corrected, corrected image. So now uh, my, my image or my study area is corrected atmospherically. So, and this is my study area, this is this location. So now I'm going to calculate the, just uh, you have the tools here. And here you, you have two options. You can use any of them according to your choice, and both of them works uh, just similarly. And I'm going to use the emissivity normalization and select the atmospheric corrected image. But from here, I'm going to select one of these bonds. For example, uh, I'm, I, I'm going to select bond 10. So, okay. And here you will uh, get two outputs. One is your land surface temperature or LSD, and the next one is your emissivity. And now the first one, I'm going to name this uh, land surface temperature and Emissivity and okay. And here I get I've got two two files or two outputs or two images for my study area. The first one is line surface temperature and the second one is emissivity. So let me uh, check out the values. The values uh, must be greater than 273 because this year, this this part of the year, or this this time of the year, will be the weather a little bit warm. So the minimum value is 295, and the maximum value is 323. So this is in Kelvin, you know, in Kelvin. So you can convert this temperature into the Celsius. So I open the bond mat here, for example. In bond mat here, I type load. I open two parentheses. Bond one just minus by two hundred seventy three point one five, and I close the oh, I add to the list uh, in here. Click OK now. Define the, the first bond, it would be your the temperature, line surface temperature. And here you can save it as LST Celsius. Okay. And this is your LST in Celsius. Now, if, if you check the values here, 
uh, from quick statistics, um, your surface temperatures will rise from 22 up to 50 degrees Celsius. So as you know, the surface temperature is uh, much more higher than air temperature because the highest destination in the on the Earth would be its surface, quite. And whenever you measure the air temperature, it would be accordingly to to much higher than its surface or higher. And from here, I'm going to apply a color slice to this. Now, okay. Now you see it's better. The uh, read locations exposes or shows the higher locations and higher temperatures, and the below areas represent the lower temperature. So thank you for watching. I wish you enjoy these tutorials. Thank you.